so hello 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 good people thank you for coming back so we had earlier made a, a video on a timetable software but the video has a, had a problem on audio so today we are going to make another video on the same device i mean on the same software uh, called the ASC software this is one of the best timetable software that we have across the world so in today's video I'm going to ensure that I'll take you through all the necessary steps on how to come up with a timetable that is of high quality remember that this particular software is automatic and it can help you generate timetables automatically kindly remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell as we proceed i will really appreciate so uh, to start uh, to start with uh, here is our software and i'll provide a link on where you can be able to download the software free of charge so to start with we are going to click on this button here and then uh, after clicking on that particular button we are going to create a new file so uh, we'll give our file name of the school so in this case I'm going to use the name uh, blue ribbon blue ribbon elite school so that will be the name of our of our school and then this will be our academic year so the number of periods uh, per day will uh, remain to be uh, seven maybe you can add them to, to half nine and then we click yes to save that so the number of days i believe this one is okay that is from monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday so we don't have to rename the day so the timetable uh, the weekend will remain as it is that is saturday and sunday and then we click next so the software will save all those settings that we already uh keyed in so after that we shall now get to the the second part of this particular timetable so the, the second button that we are going to focus on is the specifications button so this is where we are going to input all our settings starting from where we have the school the subject classes classroom and the teachers so maybe you can start here this is the very first page that we had where we named our school blue ribbon elite school the academic year was 2020 2022 2022 sorry 2023 and everything else is is okay so the next part on here this is where we're going to input the subjects that are being uh, conducted in a specific school so maybe in mine i'm going to add several so you can see we are we start by clicking the the new button to add a new subject so i'm going to click there and add uh, biology as my first subject and then the search form will be bio i believe that's okay and then we can add another one and we talk of uh, chemistry chemistry and then the short form or the abbreviation of the subject will be chem and then I'll save that I can add another one mathematics will be BST I believe that's good and then our last one will be agriculture agriculture as a subject so I'll name this one agri so that one is okay so having uh, having uh, named all subjects so you just click the close button and our subjects will be saved once you get there back you can be able to find them and then we move on to the next part uh, that is the classes so for the classes we can add the maybe just four classes i'll start with form form one and then i save that i add another one form two that will be good i can add another one form three and now the last one will be form four the last one will be form four so we are good to go after doing that the next thing i want, I want to do is just saving or closing once you close by that given button you've already saved anything so the fourth button is the classroom so if you have uh, uh, a same 
subject but under different classes so i mean under different classrooms so this is where you can add various classrooms that you want to have so in this case i'm not going to add anything here we're just going to generate our timetable as it is but it's still very simple so the fifth button is where we are going to add the teachers that you have in the school so in this case i'm going to add around 11 teachers just guessing their names so the first teacher will be mr david so we can work with mr david sorry for that we have mr david and then the short form of so David will be just that and then you can add the first name or that but we are only interested with the first part so Mr. David will be taking us in uh, so we're going to choose the subject or maybe we can do this one later so we add the second uh, the second teacher Mr. Ken and then I want to save that Mr. Ken we add the next teacher Miss Caro Miss Caro Miss Caro and then we want to save that so we get to the third teacher Madam, be Madam Nelly. So, uh, Madam Nelly, sorry, 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 sorry for that. Madam Nelly. And then I want to save that. So, the next, the next teacher will be Mr. Kibet. Mr. Kibet, I'll save that. And then our third teacher will be Mr. Mutuku. Mr. Mutuku, that's that's good. I'm going to add another one, Miss Florian or Flavian. Let's go with Flavian. So that's good. I'm going to add a total of eleven teachers. So far we have uh, we have seven. So we still have several remaining. Mr. Marina will be our eighth teacher. And then I'm also going to add. Uh, Miss Grace, Miss Grace, we can do that. Yeah, I'm also going to add another one, Mr. Or oh, this time around, uh, Madam, Miss, 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 Miss Mwen, Miss Mwen. That's okay. So how many are they? Let's first count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one more, Mr. Mr. Who? Mr. Ken. No, we already have Mr. Ken, so we can have Mr. Florian. Mr. Florian, and that will be okay. So having uh, having added the teachers, the school, and the subject, so maybe now we can start uh, allocating different subjects to our teachers. So to start with, maybe we can allocate uh, physics to Mr. David. So uh, lessons. So we will click this new button, a new or new lesson button, and then we add. Uh, we add thick to Mr. Or maybe you can start with the first one, biology, and then class form one. So lessons per week. Maybe you can give. Uh, we can give it around five lessons. Five lessons will be okay. And then Mr. David will be taking biology in, in the entire class for the form one. So we can add the second one, the same, the same subject, but now a different form. That is form two, number of lessons and still have five and then you click save we add the third one we, have, we add the third one so the same subject a different class or a different form but now this time around we make it four we save that and then we go for for the other one that is the same biology class the same class no the same class form one no form four and then the number of lessons we make it to be four and then we want to save that so having done that, we're already done with the first teacher. So we click close. So you can see here that the number of the counts has increased from 0 to 18. Next is Mr. Ken. So we add lessons. So for the lessons part, you're going to give him the next subject, that is chemistry. And then we start with form one, number of lessons. We can start with four. And then we move on to the next, 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 next subject, our next lesson, that is chemistry. And then the next form is form two. And then we have, uh, we have the number of lessons maybe you can give him four also we add another one the same subject that is chemistry but the next form that is form three number of lessons we can still work with four and then we click save and now we add the last one that is chemistry and then from from four this time around and then we work with four lessons per week 
that's that's quite okay so we do that for all the teachers we do that for all the teachers so i'm gonna add uh, miss caro the next subject the next subject is mathematics so for we have form one we have three or four then i also add the next subject that is mathematics and then i work with the next form is form two number of lessons and work with five in a week and then and the same teacher same subject but a different form this this time around form three number of lessons we can work with five and then we click save again we open another lesson so we add mathematics the next class is form four number of lessons we can work with five and then we save that so once you're done with mr or um, madam caro or miss caro we close the button so we move on to the madam nelly next is madam nelly we add the lessons so madam nelly will take us through uh, english english show form one number of lessons we can work with four and then the next the next the next the next form is form is form two but the same subject form two and then we work with we work with we work with we work with we can work with five in that case and then we save next is form three form three form three the same subject form three number of lessons we work with we work with how many we work with four so that will be okay and then we also add another one we add another one the same subject english but now a different form form four number of lessons we work with four and then we save that so having done that, we can close uh, Madame Nelly because we are already done with her. Next is Mr. Kibet. Mr. Kibet, we are going to add a new lesson. So his lesson will be uh, FIC. That is FIC from one, number of lessons four, and then we click save. Next is, next is, next is the same subject, but now a different form, form two, number of lessons we work with four again. And then the next one, the next one, the next one will be uh, form three. And then the number of lessons we can work with five. And then we click save. We move on to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next one. So this one we can work with. We can work with how many? We can work with. Uh, so we were in form four. We can work with five, five, and then we click save. So having done that, we close is button next is mr mutuko we add the lesson so the new lesson in this case will be will be kiswahili so we give him form one then the number of lessons is five so we move on to the next one remember we're going to do this one the way i'm doing it until we finish all the forms yeah so that we can move on to the next to the next part so the next we add uh, another new lesson the same kiswahili but now a different form that is form three number of lessons we can work with five then we click save next is form four the same subject kiswahili but now a different form sorry form four and now we do with can work with four in that case and then we close the button next is miss flavian so miss flavian will take us in a different subject that is geography and then form one we give her four lessons we click save next is the same teacher the same subject but a different class this time around form two number of lessons four and then we click save so we add another 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 class that is form three number of lessons we can work with five in that case and then we save so the same geography class no not form one but form four and then we work with we work with four lessons so we are done with miss flavian so we can close her page or her wizard next is mr minor so for the mr minor case we can uh, we are going to allocate him a different subject so in this case round it is history so history form one maybe three lessons in a week will work and then we add a different class for the same subject so in this case we are talking of form two class number of subjects number of lessons in a week we work with four and then we add another one so in this case we are going to work with uh, the same history a different class in this time round case form three number of lessons four we save that and we add the last one the same subject history and then the class will be formed for number of lessons we can work with five we save that and then we close 
the, that last is my, our Madam Grace, our Miss Grace. So the lesson that she'll be taking us through is CRE in Form 1. We're going to give her three lessons and then we save. So again, we add another one. We add another one. So in this case, we're going to work with uh, English. English. So English, not nothing. So I'm sorry. So it is the same subject CRE. Form is Form 2. Number of lessons is 5. So we save that and then we add another one. We add another one, the same subject here. Number the form in this case from three number of lessons. You can work with four and then you save that. And the last one will be our form four class, the same subject number of lessons. We can work with four and then we save that. So having done that, we close our wizard and then we move on to Miss Mweni. Miss Mweni, we are going to give her, we're we going to give her business studies. So form one number of lessons in a week five and then we save we click next so we add uh, the same subject but now a different form from two number of lessons number of lessons we work with four lessons in a week and then we add the next form so this one was form one so we have to make it form two not form one so we're going to edit so you make it form two and then you save so you move on to the next Next, 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 next is form three. Form three, number of lessons, we can work with four and then we save that. So next will be form four, the same subjects, but a different class. Number of lessons, we can work with five, that will be good. And then we close. And now the very last teacher is Mr. Florian. Mr. Florian. So we are going to work with the very last remaining subject, so which is agriculture. So in form one, we'll have four lessons in a week. And then we save that and then in form two from the same subject form two number of lessons we work with four lessons again and then second last is the same subject but now a different class that is form three we work with five lessons five lessons and then we save and then the last one the last one will be the same subject class from four and the number of lessons we work with five lessons and then we save so having say having done that we have already saved uh, we have allocated different subjects to different teachers so we can we can now close that given a wizard so it's always good to save our work so I'm going to name our file as blue ribbon so that if anything happens, I'll still get to remain with my file. So let me save it as blue ribbon and then click save. So my file is very secure. So having done that, we can now get to the timetables where we'll be generating our timetable. But before that, we can try to verify that our timetable is okay. If it has an issue, the issues will be indicated right here. But as you can see that our timetable time has no problem. So we can go ahead and generate a timetable and see what we're going to have. Still, we have some issues. Class form 2 has more lessons than free positions in time of form 1, form 2, form 3. So we can work with it and see how we will be able to generate the timetable. So you can work with that given button. And then we test the timetable. And then we wait and see what we are going to have as our results. So as we wait for for it to load, it takes actually less than one minute, and uh, we should be able to have our outcome in few minutes time. But remember, because we have created this timetable in a hurry, we may have some collisions or all the spaces may not be occupied. But it is very easy. So here is our timetable. You can see it. We have this uh, timetable for the form one, form two, and form three. Maybe we can. Uh, we can see the uh, the whole timetable and the way it appears. Remember, these given files will be ready for will be ready for printing. Will be ready for printing. So all you need to do is to export the files and then get a printed document. So this is our timetable. This is our timetable. The one that we're going to have. Remember, my my software has not been activated, but the one the, the one that I'm going to provide you will be activated. So we have 
we have our timetable so days from monday tuesday wednesday thursday up to friday but again you can see that our timetable has no has no breaks so this is simply because we have not allocated time in our timetable but there is still a way in which we can do that so in our next video we shall focus on time allocation and how we create breaks in uh, in this particular timetable so you're going to get a timetable for all the classes that is from one from two form 3 and form 4. So kindly remember to subscribe. Until next time, it's a goodbye from me. Thank you.